Hidden in the African savanna is a tree as vast and old as time. Inside it lives the all-knowing Funzi, part robot, part sage, but nobody knows her true age. With help from her young friends at Team Sayari, they learn how to help the planet around me. Armed with cues and clues, they look to solve Funzi's missions with trailblazing adventures and planet-saving expeditions. I missed a spot. Maisha better appreciate this. This is so cool. She's gonna be so excited. Hello. What's going on here? <laughs> Happy birthday, Maisha. Happy birthday, Maisha. Thank you so much. You remembered? Of course we remembered. You came early. We were going to buy balloons, streamers, plastic cups and plates. What? Plastic cups and plates? That is so not good. That's right, Riley. Single-use plastic is a no-no. Absolute mondo, Maisha, which is just in time to welcome our friends and give you your mission for today. Mission time! And our mission today is to discover what single-use plastic is and why it's dangerous to our oceans. Why don't we ask our friends for help? But first, a joke. What happens when you cross a plus sign and a stick? Plastic. Get it? Plastic. That's so bad, Cindy. You say? How does plastic get into the ocean? Plastic gets into the ocean by pollution. By water pushing it into the ocean. I don't know. By being fallen. People littering and dump trucks pushing. By litter bugs who are in the beach. Like. I'll just say, like, people throw it there, like, the ignorance of human beings. Having, like, a food and then you litter. People not recycling, so they throw it, they just leave it anyway. And then sometimes the wind brings it into the ocean. You say? So, single-use plastic is pollution. And is polluting the oceans. Okay, I get it. Single-use plastic is plastic used once and throw away but I still don't get how it's dangerous to our planet. Frenzy, let's help him out. Would you like your mission clues now? Clue time! A jellyfish, an island, a river, and flip-flops? Okay, let's follow the clues. Field reporter? Locating field reporter now. I have Atule Mazana from Cape Town on standby. I'm patching you in. Great. My name is Atule. I'm here at the VNA waterfront in Cape Town. My mission today is to help Team Sayari find their clue. Let's go! Guys, I think I found the turtle expert. Let's go. Hello? Hi. I'm from Team Sayari and I'd like to ask you a few questions. Awesome. What would you like to know? So what do you do here at the Two Oceans Aquarium? I help run the turtle rescue, rehabilitation and release facility that we have. I have an amazing job. I get to work with the sea turtles and this display around us and many others. Okay, cool. <laughs> yeah. So why are the turtles here at the aquarium? All of the turtles that we have in this space have been rescued and they are here in our turtle hospital to undergo the care that they need. So medicine, good food, all the things to help them get big and strong. And then when they're ready, we release them back into the ocean. So what do turtles eat? Sea turtles eat a variety of different things, but they particularly like jellyfish and sea lettuce. So how does single-use plastic affect turtles? Do you want to come onto the turtle hospital roof and we can have a look? Yes, please. Come with me. Delita's taking us to the turtle hospital. Let's go. So here we have a piece that came out of one turtle. And do you see what it looks like? It's it looks That's like a, why they eat it. Looks like it looks a jellyfish. Like a jellyfish. And then if you imagine that it's green and in the bottom of the sea. It looks like sea lettuce. So it's easy to see why the sea turtles get confused. And so turtles eat that and they think that it's the food they're supposed to eat. Um, but then it gets stuck in their throat or it makes them feel full when they're not full or it can cause cuts in their gut. So 
Single-use plastic is incredibly harmful for sea turtles. The good news is that we can do something to help the turtle. We can stop using our single-use plastics, so we can say no to plastic bags, we can say no to plastic water bottles and straws, and in that way help the turtles. So even though it's a horrible thing for them to have to eat this, turtles are resilient and they can often, often survive. I've learned so much at the Two Oceans Aquarium. It's great to see the amazing things people do for turtles. Back to you, Team Sayari. I'm kind of sad that the turtles could die. That's the unfortunate part about single-use plastic in our oceans, as Dr. Noble said. But that's why they're on a mission, to protect our oceans. And that sounds right to the jellyfish clue. The turtles are eating plastic thinking it's jellyfish. Yes! One clue down, three to go. Flip-flops, an island, and a river. Sounds like a lot to think through and solve before your party. We've got this. Not yet. Funzi, do you know if the rest of the crew is coming for Maisha's party? It would be such a nice surprise. Hmm, I sure hope so. But we've got to finish the mission. Go call them to confirm, Riley. I'll distract Maisha while you do. Thanks, Funzi. Okie doke. Aki, I just started jogging and I'm already tired. Oh, I think I need a trainer. Did somebody say trainer? I think it's time for a baby sea turtle workout. I see you, little baby sea turtle. Let's keep those flippers moving. Let's go. Why have you stopped? I because I'm tired. Don't stop. Let's go. Uh, fine. Wait. Uh, you thought trying. I was gone. No way. Let's I'll get keep there. it going. I'm going. I'm, I'm trying. You'll not get big I'm, moving I'm slowly tired. like that. By the way, okay, okay. how old are you? I just hatched 10 minutes ago. 10 minutes? Do you know what I can do in 10 minutes? Me, I have six legs. That's six times the workout. Sarah, you can I'm do going. it. Let's go. I'm going. Let's I said go. I'm going. I'm going all the way to the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> that turtle was so cute. There wasn't any real clue there, though, Funzi. But it was so cute and fun to watch, right? Yeah. Funzi, I'm thinking another field report. Let's go visit our friend Mali Kwamboka in Lamu. Habari, Team Sai. My name is Mali, and today we're here in Lamu, and actually, I live in Lamu. And I know that one of your clues is a picture of a flip flop. I might know a guy that can help you. Hi, Mr. Skanda. So how many flip-flops did you need to build this DAO? Uh, for our prototype DAO, we have been using 30,000 flip-flops. That's a lot of flip-flops. I remember with our school, when I was younger, we would help you pick up the flip-flop from the beach. Yes, uh, I remember involving school children, the community, and we have been doing all the beach up together and we've been taking all these flip-flops and other type of plastic. So are you saying all of this plastic that we collected in the beach cleanup, you used to make that DAO? Yes, of course. We use all these flip-flops plus all the jerkin. You remember collecting all these torches, phones, toothbrush and all other things? We make these beams for the framing and the ribs and the planks and we attach these 30,000 pieces. Well, what will happen to the other slippers and plastics in general that weren't collected? Uh, it, it could be really choked up in our all oceans and beaches. All could be full of plastic. Our ground also gonna be tired by microplastic which is harmful to our fish, to our animals, and to ourselves. So that's why we build this DAO as a message 
to make awareness and to try to beat this pollution. I'm so glad that I got to see the Flip Floppy Dog again and I hope I helped you guys solve your clue. So the Flip Flop clue is the Flip Floppy Dog made of thousands of recycled flip flops thrown into the ocean. And they use other recycled single-use plastics too to make the rigid body of the flip floppy dow. How cool would it be to sail in? We figured it out. Another great result from Team S. I smell victory. We have two more clues, the island and the river. Funzi, fun fact? Yes, please, Funzi. I'm patching you in. Fun fact. Plastic enters the oceans through over a thousand rivers. Scientists previously believed that about 20 rivers carried most of the world's plastic into oceans. However, it was discovered that it was over 1,000 rivers. There is an accumulation of trash and plastic known as the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. It is the world's most extensive floating trash collection in the North Pacific Ocean. This trash accumulation weighs approximately 79,000 metric tons. Is that not the craziest thing? Are we getting anything from this? Well, the jellyfish is the turtle eating plastic, thinking it's jellyfish. And the flip-flop is the flip-floppy doll. And the island is how much plastic is accumulating in the ocean. And the river is how the plastic gets to the ocean. Mission complete! Mission complete! Very good job, guys. I hope you're convinced. Single-use plastic is dangerous for our oceans and environment. And we can use creative ways to recycle and reduce waste. Plus, there are fun ways of holding a birthday party without the single-use plastic. Hmm. Maybe our friends would like to see an example, Funzi. Like a really cool DIY? Say no more. Excellent, though. Here's Adarsh to show us how. Funzi's Box. Hello, Team Sayari, and welcome to Funzi's Box, where we turn ordinary things into awesome creations. Today, I'm going to teach you how to make party cards. But unlike other party cards, these ones are good for the environment. And I'll tell you how at the end, so stick around. Here's what you'll need. An old blender, some non-toxic glue, any colour food dyes, some seeds, thin paper or newspaper, a spatula, cardstock paper, which means really thick paper, scissors for cutting, pens or markers, cookie cutters, and lastly, a splatter screen, which is a frame with a screen on it. Now, we're going to put the paper inside the blender to make the pulp. Make sure you fill enough water so it covers all of the paper. Close the blender. Blend the paper until the texture is like a sticky pulp. Next, we're going to pour our pulp into a dish. Choose the colour that you want your invitations to be. Stir and mix it really well. Now, we're going to add our seeds to the pulp. I'm going to lay the towel. Now I'm going to put the splatter screen on top of the towel and the cookie cutter on top of the splatter screen. I'm going to scoop up some of the pulp and place it in the cookie cutter. After I've put it in with the spatula, I really like to use my fingers to spread it around evenly. Now I'm going to gently remove the cookie cutter off the pulp and I'll get a tissue to remove the water from the excess pulp. You have to leave the seed paper to dry for 24 hours. Now I have my card over here and I'm going to stick the seed paper on the card using the non-toxic glue. Now it's time to write the message. You are invited. Now I'm going to take the red felt pen and decorate the card nicely. And there you have it, your own personalized invitation card. Not only is it an awesome invitation card, but it also has a twist because you can plant it after you've read it. It's good for our environment and it'll grow flowers from it. Make sure it says plant after reading so they know to plant it. Funzi's Box! Bidash is so clever. 
Who would have thought? Plantable invitations, just one more waiting for in a week. I can't wait to see the lovely plants that will grow from the cards. Absolute Mondo. It's a lovely idea to use the paper to invite our friends to your birthday party. See, already, we are doing something to make a difference to our oceans by recycling and replanting. Let's meet someone else who is doing great things to save our environment. Who is it? Well, I'll show you. Let's go to Nigeria. My name is Doisola Ogui and it's a beautiful day in Lagos, Nigeria. I started cleaning the beach because the beach was really dirty. So much plastic waste and nobody was doing anything about it. And I said, if we don't do anything about this, the kids won't have a safe place to play. So why not do something fun? Why don't we make cleaning fun for them? Every weekend, people are always excited to come out to clean the beach with us. Are we ready? Okay, so let's go in. Watch your step. It's beautiful. So right now we are at the kids' beach garden inside Elegushi Beach. So we're going to be cleaning the beach and we're going to be searching for microplastic. Microplastic are those tiny plastic fragments that get into the belly of the fish, of the sea turtles, and all the other aquatic animals that we need to protect. So come along with us. All at the same time, so we are raking this way. So yes, we're still at the beach. We've been cleaning, we've been picking up microplastic, and we want Team Sayari to join us in this activity. Okay, this way. Can you get a rake? All right. Get a rake. Get a rake. There's so get much rake. plastic. Look for you the tiny see? plastic. Thank you. Be careful. All right. So this is what we have harvested today in just five minutes. Well, the children now understand so much about aquatic biodiversity. The children understand the need to clean their environment. They understand the need to recycle. And most of them have started recycling in their homes and in their schools as well. The beach cleanup helps us raise so much awareness in our communities because we take to social media, we take pictures and we put it out there. And we let the world know that we are doing something. No matter how little, if everybody does something for the environment, it will definitely get better. So we just planted a tree and we named her Sayari. Thank you so much and we really, really appreciate you. Exactitious. Well done, Team Sayari. You now understand why it's important to keep our oceans clean. We save the turtles, we prevent garbage islands from building, which affects the ocean ecosystem, and a healthy ocean regulates our climate. A healthy climate means a healthy Earth. Now you know what single-use plastic is and why we shouldn't be using it. Let's see what a world without plastic would look like. Ocean, so clean, sweet, and serene, till some humans stepped on the scene. A big pile of plastic got it so clogged up, and it all started with just one little cup. Dirt messing up all the fish and coral when they're everything to us, legit royal. See, a world without plastic would be straight up fantastic. Clean oceans, clean air is what we gotta chase, and our world will be the best kind of place. Now all you've gotta do is just start recycling. Work together, get our world back to sparkling. Reuse it, don't lose it. Fight the plastic, never quit. It's crazy what impact single-use plastic has on our oceans. But it's also great to see the impact we can make when we clean up. Want to share what we've learned about our clues today? Well, the jellyfish means turtles eating plastic, thinking it's jellyfish, and getting sick or dying. And the river is how the plastic gets to the ocean. The flip-flops represent the flip-floppy doubt, which is created using thousands of recycled flip-flops and plastic. 
and the island is equal to where the trash goes when it's been dumped into the ocean. Mission complete. Well, let me just pour you some juice in a paper cup. Nice and refreshing. Real good. So tasty, I can't even. So fresh. Thanks, happy birthday, Maisha. So guys, what do you call a cup that leaks? No, a shower cap. Get it? <laughs> oh my gosh. Guys.